So who's at risk for autoimmune encephalitis? You're at risk if you have a history of another autoimmune condition. And these are just a few examples, but if your immune system in the past has gotten confused and attacked its own um, body cells as foreign antigens, then you're at higher risk for it also attacking your brain cells. If you have a history of cancer, you also are at risk for autoimmune encephalitis, usually in the form of perineoplastic syndromes. The most common types of cancers that can cause autoimmune encephalitis are lung cancer, breast cancer, other gynecological tumors, and hematological malignancies. People who have sudden onset seizures that are difficult to control, um, sudden onset seizures that are difficult to control, and there's also behavioral abnormalities associated with it, like the mood fluctuations, um, they go manic, uh, they get severely depressed, um, you know, any abrupt mood changes along with the seizures, these are also red flags for autoimmune causes and they should be evaluated. Lastly, another red flag is systemic symptoms. So if you're losing weight, you're not hungry, you have fevers, those types of things we would watch out for as well.